Hello and welcome back. Susil this side and this is continuation of Azure Databricks tutorial. So in the today's video, we are going to see how we can connect our Azure Databricks to the Azure SQL. It's very straightforward. We have to use this JDBC connectivity and you have to use the URL. So basically we should be going to use the driver. So driver is the JDBC driver by which we are going to connect with the Azure SQL. And after that we have to add the database host. So database host is nothing but the server name and then the port. So for the SQL it should be 1433. Then we have to add the database name then the table name that we want to access and after that we have to add the user ID and password and inside the URL we will be going to add the database host that we can see we are putting in this variable so that we are going to use and after that after the colon we are going to supply the port name that is 1433 then semicolon we have to add and after that we need to add the database name so it will be going to have your URL. Then after we have to use one of the property of the Spark. So that is the Spark.read. And after that inside the options, we will be providing the option for the URL. And under that URL, we are going to use this variable as an URL. So it will be going to make the connection and will be reading the data from the table that we are also supplying inside the option of the DB table. And again, we have to add the user ID and password for that particular database connectivity. So let me quickly go inside the SQL server. And here we want to access this table, which is the country master. And this country master we want to access inside the Azure Databricks. So let me quickly go inside the Azure Databricks workspace and here I have already created this notebook. So here let me try to start the cluster. So it will take little bit time. Let me quickly go and try to copy the syntax and let me quickly go and paste inside this workspace notebook. Here you have to add the values. So the first thing driver would remain same. You need to update the database host. So your database host will be the server name we can get it from here so let me try to click on this so this will be your database server so we can copy it and after that you can go and try to paste it there so this will be your server name port name will remain same then the database name so we want to make the connection with the survey underscore mto gesc so this is your database name so we can add the database name here. Now we need to add the table name by which we want to make the connection. So inside the table name, we want to access the country master. So this country master, we can copy and paste it there. So we got all these values. Next will be your user ID and then we need to supply the password. So I'm going to copy the user ID from here that we are using for this login credential you need to provide your login credential here your table name your database name your server name so these values you need to add as per your server and login credential now let me add the password here so after adding the password once we will be going to run this cell by pressing shift enter so it will be run and all these variables will be holding the values so as we can see it is having the values next we need to use the spark sql command so this is the command let me try to copy it so don't worry i'll be going to provide this command on the description of this video so you can use without any issue here we are not required to make any changes all these things will remain same because as we can see we are having the driver so driver is this we are holding in a variable then the url url will be holding in this variable database table so database table will be holding in this variable then the user id and password so that is holding in these two variables so all these we have put inside a variables and those variables we are going to access here let me try to execute it so once we will be executing and here we are using the display 
so this remote table data frame will be having the values and inside the display we are going to see like id location and effective date the same data that we can see here as well like id location and data frame and the effective date so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video